and the lamb just won't get up. There we go. Nice and easy. That's enough, Meg. <laughs> Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. Sheep, sheep. Hope you're all well. Thanks very much for everyone who's been following these vlogs. It's been unbelievable, the reception, like, and the support and the comments. And, like, I've probably not had more than five hours sleep in a night for, well, for 10, 11 days now. And, like, the buzz of this and you guys definitely, definitely helps with that whole thing. So I thought I'd start with some positivity this morning, as we often try to do. We've got, well, a beautiful pair of Cheviot Mule. Sorry, she's a Cheviot Mule. The lambs are Texels. Beautiful, white, even, solid lambs from her this morning. And we've got a wee Jacob success story here. She said these wee set of twins yesterday. Looking cracking. And these wee lambs are a wee bit mixed up. There's a wee handful of sheep here getting a feed. But mum will sort them out after that. So hope you're all well. Thanks to the subscriber. Hit 50k. Unbelievable. Like, when I started this whole journey, I just thought it would be a bit of crack, a bit of fun. Never expected to get so popular. And all the opportunities that came my way as a result of it are just unbelievable. So thanks so much for that. And especially thanks to anyone who's bought uh, merchandise in the merch store. Like, I do not exaggerate when I say that is literally paying the bills at this time of year because like yeah it's expensive I think we were four grand this month in uh, Tarf Valley which is where we get all our feed our iodine our prolapse harnesses all our farm supplies um, come out of there so I think our, well I know I don't think I know our bill was four grand this month um, so yeah at a time when you have no lambs to sell things like the merch can't believe how much that's helped so thanks very much to Abdi for that Let's go around and see what else is happening. Well, it turns out Jacobs are a bit like buses. You wait a while for yin. Uh, yin means one, I should say. And uh, twa, which means two, come along at once. Ah, oh, a cracking set of lambs last year, absolute monsters. And these are Texo lambs, but the Jacob, just about everything that comes out of Jacob is black. In fact, as far as I'm aware, everything that comes out of Jacob is black. With some white flashes. Bonnie lambs will not disturb her because, as you saw when I tried to catch that Jacob last time, they're fairly wild. So we'll just leave her to it. But that's quite exciting. Funny how they lamb together. And like those woolly ones in the shed with the woolly heads, they're all friends. And they've all lamb together. Okay, so not too much drama this morning, but we have another batch to go out to the field, so let's get them out. Now a big perk with having the sheep in the shed for an extra couple of days is they reunite with mum really fast so you can just dump them out in a heap like that. It works really well. Exciting times here at the sheep game. Lizzie has the Heineggers back on. Now, Lizzie, yes. um, where have you been today? I've been to see a few sheep. Your first, is that your first ever solo shearing job in Scotland? Um, no. In Scotland? Oh, I'm right shy, Are you shy? Like, she's all shy because I'm, I'm complimenting her here for a good day's work. And how did it go? I jock slept the whole time. She and even took jock? He woke up at the end for smiles for everyone. 
Yeah. And got a, he got a tip, didn't he? He got a tip, didn't you, Jock? Not there, yeah. For your piggy bank. And now you've had your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jock, did you get a fiver? Did you get a fiver? Eh? Well, I'll be taking that for all the food you've ate. All right, OK, OK. Don't. All right, if you don't want, you can keep it. That's fine. Some boy. So, yeah, Lizzie away doing her first solo shearing job today. She saw six dorsets. She saw, she saw six dorsets and um, she told me how much she charged and she did it far too cheap. That's what I will say. She's giving us all a bad name. But hardy, hardy lass. You know, I like to bring her up on here. Makes my life easier when she watches it back and goes, Cameron, you're so nice. <laughs> so I suppose, in part, it's a great way of featuring uh, one of the channel sponsors here. But also, just highlighting how important it is for these yows, these cheviot yows here, because as it is now, there's not much grass here, to be honest with you. I probably just didn't quite get the management of this bit quite right. What I should have done was had this cleared much earlier at the start of winter. I think we just we just romped it a little bit too bare. Last year it was perfect. There was just a nice balance of grass on it. This year it's probably just a little bit too bare when the ewes come back here to lamb. So they're getting very bare now, it must be said, and they're gonna, we're gonna start shifting them across the road tomorrow onto a fresh bite, because most of them have lambed now. These were all teasered, these girls. Uh, a teaser is, is, is when you use a, a vasectomized ram and it synchronizes the girls, he jumps the girls, fires a blank, and it works his way around the girls and they all come back into sync at the same time, and that's when you put the real tups out and do the job. Now, I, I was speaking to someone in the comments earlier and they'll say about how it's great, thanks, I'm learning so much and stuff, but I did realise I've rushed about so much this lambing because we've been so busy. There's loads of things I haven't really covered properly and I apologise for that. We will try and maybe go over some finer details now over the next few days as, as the pressure eases off a little bit. But fast paced action, you know, there, there has been plenty of action, there's no doubt about that. It's nice just to now have a minute to breathe and say like, here's what we do, why do we do it, and let's explain it. And also, someone made a really good point. Like I have people from all over the world watching this now, which is mind blowing, but like someone made a great point that they'd love to follow the channel closer, but they just can't get the accent and the way I speak, which I totally get. Like we're very unique here. Not, not so much in Scotland, but particularly where I'm from in Ayrshire, and up uh, the east coast as well, a lot of, uh, up certainly up uh, Aberdeen kind of way, but uh, we speak a lot of Scots. In the farming circles that I live in these days, I don't really see many people out with farming, we all speak a lot of Scots. Like in farming in Ayrshire, it's very strong. Perhaps not so much out with, maybe because schools and society teach you like, oh, don't say those words, it's like slang. You know, oh, that's not how you say that. But whereas in farming, uh, we very much still use a lot of Scots. And when I'm busy and rushing about, and especially tired, I've been letting a lot of that slip in. And I know you're going to say, and we, we talk about this a lot in the channel, but just for new subscribers, a lot of you are going to say, you know, we love it, can we keep doing it? And I really appreciate that. And it means a lot to me that I can put some of, like, Scotland out around the world. And, and I'm going to say proper Scotland, but, like... Scottish people on TV and actors and these kind of people, the way they speak, it's not like real Scotland. You know, we don't, the way I'm speaking just now isn't like real Scotland. It, it's totally different. Uh, but I get that it's important to reach a, a bigger audience and to make the channel more accessible. So genuinely, I know you're going to say keep doing the, the accent and stuff like that, but it is important to me as well that everybody can enjoy this channel. So I don't mind making the effort. It's good for me as well. Especially if I'm going to do a little bit on landward, I suppose I better get better <laughs> at speaking clearly. Old Faithful here. Little no ears. She's had twins the last two years. Looking really milky. Lovely bag on her. Lovely teats. Still not lambed yet though. Ah, oh, lass. I wish you would just hurry up and lamb. Can't be doing this all the time. Come on, oh, oh kick me. Come this way then. 
Whatever way suits you best. That cannot be good for the wee lambs inside. Okay, so we're just out feeding the sheep here. And here's the thing, this is the second lamb I've had do this. And it's just kind of went off its legs. A good strong lamb, I had a mule lamb off a blackie do the same thing. But it's a good weight to the lamb. It's been with its mum, its mum's over there somewhere, eating obviously. And the lamb just won't get up. Still fairly bright, but just off its legs. Obviously I'm gonna have to take it in or it'll just starve here. Well there's a nice lamb and bong. You've taken a wee well to do that mum, but well done. Cracking wee lamb. Well done. We'll leave her to it. She might have another one there, but hopefully if she got the first one out, she can get the next one out as well. It does start to feel very repetitive after you've been in the same field four times in a day. And the old bike. Well, she's a fairly new bike, but she doesn't look so new anymore. She looks like a bike that's been used for lambing sheep. Or just general hard work. And I'll shout out to John Murray. Got to do my bit. Got to do my bit, folks. Right, let's see what's happening here. Are we going to get some action? I don't think we've had action today, have we? Well, I can see... Oh, there's something on the go there. What are you up to? No, she's not lambing, but I can see there's a lamb half out over the water here. Right, let's go. This does not look good. The lamb's hanging half out. Just hanging lambs so fast, these shoes, it's brutal. No, this doesn't look good, Meg, is it? Or was she, was she nearly finished when we disturbed her? What's going on here? This does not look nice. This is not going to be camp way. No, it's a deformed lamb, is what it is. It's a deformed lamb that mum's having. We Come by. Hey. Shh. Hi, Jun. Yeah, this is just a horrible wee deformed thing. <sighs> okay, so I've let mum just go because the wee lamb was running off towards the, the bridge there and I wasn't wanting it to get too far away and have reunited nicely, but yeah, just a wee horrible deformed thing. Kind of half out there. We don't need to see too much of that, eh? You get the idea. Hmm. Nasty. It happens, it happens. Not had too much of that way. Those two deformed lambs, oh, I haven't taken them up to the vet school. Just jobs today. It's it's a good 35, well, it's a good 40 minutes for me to get to the vet school. So I haven't just, 40 minutes there, then 40 minutes back, obviously, plus your time dropping it off. So you're, you're losing a good two hours of your day. And I just couldn't face that today. There's just too much going on. Things like this, you know, just constantly getting around these sheep. Um, right, I think, I wouldn't usually do this, but we're having so much bother with sheep hanging lambs and, well, we don't have much bother with deformed lambs like this, but we're just having bother. I think we're going to catch no ears. She lamb great last year, a set of twins, but, but it's my last check for the night and I don't, well, I, sl I don't sleep very long, so I sleep all right, but, um, I don't rest easy. If there's something starting just as I leave, I would usually sit and wait, but oh, let's have a drive past, see what she's like. I do not I do not Stop. Stop. Right. Oh, Meg, don't let her go. Come by. Put the brake on, Cammy. Lie down. I think it's going to stop anyway. It's certainly going to go very slow. Oh, come by. I give Meg commands, but it's actually a waste of time because she knows what we're doing. That's fine. You just come this way, lass. We. We. 
nice and easy. That's enough, Meg. Right, lass. You were a great wee mum last year, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, aye, big lambs. Big lambs. I think she would have lambed this okay herself. Because it's all presented well and it's right there and she's... But it's not... Like, it's not causing any distress to pull, pull them out. Well, the distress is catching her, but it's not... You know, I'm not tearing anything or... Or lambing it too early. Come on, lammy. She's a great wee mum, this, if I remember from last year. Straight on it, which I'd love to see. I hope that's not the navel you're straight on, though, mum, is it? I put that in your mouth. Oh, right, I know, sorry, you went up, but I think you probably have twins, because you have twins every year. So let me just... oblige you with the other one. A lovely evening to be at the side of the road here, in Ayrshire, lambing sheep. Quite a spectacle for anyone coming up from Dunlop, I would say. Not, uh, not your regular countryside view. There's a strange man with a headband, elbow deep in a sheep. Another wee poem. This other lamb feels like a nice lamb as well. And she's uh, two, three, three years in a row, four years in a row. I'm not just sure now. Three years in a row. I'm not sure what she had as a gimmer because she still had ears then, so I can't remember. But I know certainly. Oh, you're sliding down the hill, lammy. We're lambing on a hill here. Oh, Mum, she's not going to go anywhere. She's just a different. A different mentality. Look at that wee head up already. We can actually sit for a second and enjoy this rather than the usual rushing around. I made a joke in a previous vlog, it was like uh, David Attenborough with the gorillas getting this close to achieve it. <laughs> it seemed to go down quite well. Uh, that's again, oh look at this, up within, how long was that? A couple of minutes and it's up on its feet. Fantastic wee lammy. I'm not your mum though. You need to turn round. You know, let me just help you in the right direction. Oh, well, you fell. You're on a wee hill. It's not the easiest place to get your... Oh, God. It's not the easiest place to get started, is it? Beautiful shots. Okay, so we're going to pop this little chap, although he's not so little, which is an annoying thing, uh, chap in here. And we'll get him under the heat bulb and we'll make sure he gets some milk. And Vicky is holding one we, one uh, we made earlier, one we fixed earlier. So this is the, the other mule lamb we were talking uh, about that had the same problem and we've been treating this one. Do you want to place that one down for a second, Vicky, and we'll see the improvements in this lamb? Uh, so this, this lamb was the, genuinely the exact same. Um, we got it with the blackies the other day. I'll be honest, I didn't put it in the vlog initially because I thought it was quite a sad story. I didn't think it was going to make it and I thought, oh, quite distressing seeing the poor thing struggling. But this is quite a, quite a turnaround for it. Two days it didn't stand up for. And we kept treating it and now... It can stand up. It's, it's walking's not amazing, but it's it's definitely getting better. So we'll keep working at this wee lamb. Hopefully it doesn't end up a sob story now. I think the lamb's looking good, but it might still end up a sob story. We can only try our best. We'll see what happens with it. It's in good hands. Vicky, look, Vicky looks after them well, don't you? She's, she, she, she's, the, she's the reason the pets are so healthy. She keeps on top of it. Typically, he's like not walking now that the camera's on. Yeah. <laughs> stage, sta stage fright. Gets his wee 15 minutes of physio at night. There you go, a wee wag of the tail and everything. <laughs> Definitely just not quite right there. I'm dribbling a bit of urine as well, which is often a bad sign. Uh, maybe a sign of pain, I'm not just sure. But yeah. We'll update you on this progress, this wee lamb. Uh, and the other lamb, of course. Another day done sheep fans tomorrow i know i said this yesterday tomorrow we're gonna go to the vet school i think it's called a vet school 
and drop off those lambs. They should still be okay. And yeah, I know I said that. As long as things go okay in the morning. But we'll soon find out. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for all the comments. I do read them all, even if I don't respond to you. And they have been amazing. So thanks very much for that. And we'll see you for the next one. What was the name? Sheep the game. That went in my in my card van. Where that am and all my So I was I was just gonna get my dinner. I think I'll have something very good. So camera's off for last week because I'm at the caravans. So I'll have to have a video last month. So bye bye sheep game. That was the end for last one now. Remember I should the name Sheep the Game. So I'll see you on the next one, Sheep Hunt. Thank you.